If you are a seasoned solopreneur who is trying to juggle newsletters and podcasts and short form video and long form video and social media posts, it can all get extremely overwhelming very fast. That's why you may be on the hunt for a system that can allow you to manage all of this content in a way that doesn't get you overwhelmed. And that's what I hope to show you in this video. As Jason and I jump back into content creation and publishing across multiple platforms, across two businesses, I knew I had to adapt our old content creation system in Notion. My plan was to create one page in Notion where I could see everything at a glance, plan out one month's worth of content in one place and not get overwhelmed in the process. This is going to be a walkthrough video where I actually show you that page in Notion, our new Calm Content Factory page, where I plan out 40 pieces of content and batch that content a month ahead of time across Wandering Aimfully and Tea Tree. And I hope it gives you some ideas about how to manage your own content calendar in Notion. All right, let's go ahead and dive right in. So the very first thing that I want to show you here at the top is we actually have our content creation schedule here. This is something that Jason and I work together to create so that we both know what the rhythm is of when we're creating certain types of content. I know it looks really overwhelming. The most important thing is in our last YouTube video, we talked about our schedule where we have sort of a hybrid of weekly content creation for our podcasts and newsletters, and then monthly batch creation for our tea tree short form, tea tree long form, uh, WAME, Wandering Aimfully, WAME, shorts and carousels, and then the last week of the month is for our members only coaching sessions, as well as just a catch up week to get caught up on any content we weren't able to create. So as we try out this schedule, we can move blocks around, but I find this really helpful to see what our schedule is going to be ongoing, how this is all going to get done, and also to make sure that we have enough room in our schedule to do all the other things in our business. So I just keep that at the top there so we know what our plan is. Now here I also have the platforms, the formats, and the cadence that we're aiming for with our content. So you can see WAME channels are in blue and Tea Tree are in purple. So we have our WAME newsletter that we publish once a week. Short form videos for Tea Tree, we're trying to post two of those a week. Long form YouTube videos once per week. Wayne's YouTube channel, like this video, once per week. And then Wayne Shorts twice per week, Wayne Carousels twice per week, and the podcast once a week. So all of that is a lot, but if you, like I said, are a seasoned solopreneur watching this video, you might have something that looks maybe not two businesses, but looks similar to this, right? Where you're trying to keep up with a podcast and a newsletter and social media. And so again, that is the reason I created this page was it feels like chaotic in my brain, but can I create a place in Notion where it suddenly starts to feel more doable? And I find that keeping your the cadence that you're trying to come up with here at the top is really helpful. And then on the right here, I have my content calendar. So I keep every single piece of content in one database in Notion, I find that it's helpful to just see it all on the same calendar. Everything is inside of this content calendar database, but everything has a different template and has a different type. I'll just show you here um, for one of our newsletters. You can see here this type. I have them all set to different types of pieces of content, and that allows me to do different filtering and things like that. So if I want a calendar where I'm only seeing my newsletters or only seeing my podcasts, I can do that. The thing I wanted to point out to you here is at the top, I have a calendar view that's based on the publishing date. So this is my publishing calendar for both WAME and Tea Tree. And you can see like our newsletters on Mondays, our podcasts on Thursdays, etc. But then I also have a view that is my based on the creation date, not the publish date. So when am I gonna actually make the piece of content? And then another view that I like here is, this might overwhelm some of you, I find it satisfying, is let me see all the pieces of content I'm trying to create in a month at a time so that I know kind of the status of every piece of content. So it's very satisfying as the month goes on to see as I create the pieces of content, um, them all sort of get checked off into creation. So I, that's just a personal thing. I find that satisfying. Okay. So then going down the page, I basically have a toggle for every type of content format. And the reason why I love using toggles in Notion is because I'm the type of person who I love to see everything at a glance, like give me everything, let me see it all together but I can get overwhelmed by that also. And so I need the ability to choose when and how to sh to show things. So I love keeping things, things in toggles because I can have all of these open so I can see every piece of content at once or I can close them and be like, okay, I'm only gonna focus on my newsletters right now and 
that really helps keep my brain calm. So I think that's a key feature of this. But all of these toggle sections are very, are the same layout basically, where at the top I have whatever is next to create. So these are the upcoming newsletters that I am going to be creating next with certain properties showing or hidden based on where I can assign the ideas. So I'm gonna assign the publishing date, the creation date, and then kind of the idea right here. And then on the right hand side, I have some different links and things. So for example, for newsletters, I have a page linking out to um, my subject line hooks, which is just a running list that I keep when I see an interesting subject line that isn't too clickbaity, but kind of piques my interest. I'll put it there because we all know when we go to sit, you know, we've written this newsletter and then we're like, what do we put it as a subject line? So this is your note to keep a page in your notion of all the good subject lines that you see. And then I also wanted to point out, I do have individual project pages for each type of content. And that's just kind of like a more in-depth view of that particular type of content piece. But lately I've just been working from this content factory page because everything is sort of here at my fingertips. As I hone my process for actually creating that content, I keep it here. And this goes back to the predictable part of a calm business is the more you can write down your processes and repeat them and hone them, the more efficient and predictable and peaceful your business will be. So I kind of keep my process here for each type of content as I get more efficient. And then I'll talk about this in a second, but I have an ideas board so that when I am going here to assign what I want to write the newsletter about, I have an ongoing list of ideas and I'm never out of ideas. And then I also have another hidden toggle of what the next piece of content is to publish just so I can double check like, is this completed? Are we on schedule? Have I scheduled that piece of content to make sure everything goes out at the right time. Every single section just has a, a very similar uh, layout to that first one. Whenever, for example, for Tea Tree Shorts, we batch create these monthly the first week of the month. So on the first week of the month, you'll see probably only this toggle open because that's where I'm working from. And again, like I said, this is this becomes really helpful with the toggles because I don't need to think about what's happening with Wayme Instagram. I don't need to think about what's happening with long form YouTube videos. I just have that one piece of format that I'm trying to batch that week and I find that really helpful. Rather than going through each one of these, what I actually wanted to show you is how I use this on a monthly basis to plan all of my content. So I actually created a duplicate page here just to, to show you what it would be like. Basically like the, the last work day before the next new month, I will basically set up this page for all of the content that I wanna create in the next month. So before, for example, July 1st hits, what I would do is come to this page and I'm going to create all the pieces of content in my content calendar database so that I know what needs to get created in the next month. And so I do this using buttons. So for example, for newsletters, let me just, I'll show you what this button is. So this button is going to say, add a page to my content calendar, make it the newsletter template. And then just for the purpose of this page, I said, make the creation date July 1st. When I click this button automatically, like I told you, if we're trying to create one newsletter per week in the month of July, this is gonna add it to my content calendar with July 1st as my creation date. So all I have to do is go in here and say, and we actually write our newsletters on Fridays. So actually it's gonna be every Friday. So it's gonna be one on the 12th, one on the 19th, and one on the 26th. So those are all the newsletters that I need to create in July. And we basically have buttons for every single section of this. So we're trying to batch eight shorts at one time for Tea Tree during that one first week of the month. So if I click my button here, you can see this is gonna add that to my content calendar. And I like that it just automatically adds the date because you, what you can also do is come back up here to the uh, content calendar view by creation date. And then I can just drag and drop, right? So I'm gonna create these on the Wednesday, the first week of the month. So let me just drag those to Wednesday. And I can kind of play around here with when I plan to create those pieces of content. And yeah, I just go section by section. I do my four new tea tree videos. I do my way long YouTube videos. Okay, I added all my pieces of content. And so if I go back up to the top here, what you can see in the month of July, now I have all my 40 pieces of content added here to my content calendar. And that is sort of step one is create the pieces of content just to make sure they get on the calendar. Then I'm gonna go back and assign all of them ideas. And I can do this in under an hour, basically assign ideas to all of those 40 pieces of content. And let me show you how I do that. So at the very bottom of this page, I have basically a different 
database just called an ideas bank. And I might do an entire YouTube video just on this process alone because I've really been loving it lately. But what I do is basically at the end of every day, this is an effort to, Jason and I are doing things all the time and we always say we don't do a good enough job of documenting the things that we're doing in our business all the time. And so the worst thing is sitting down to be like, what idea should I create you know, content about? And it's like, you have a treasure trove of things that you're already doing in your business. And so why not utilize that more? And so something I've been trying to do is sit down at the end of the day and just go use some of these prompts to think about what did I do today? What processes have I been using in my business that are really helpful? What's a tactic or a tip that I did today that a business owner, a solopreneur would find helpful? So here are all of my prompts. Each one basically corresponds to a different type of what I call an input type. So we have outcomes, tactics, insights, opinions, processes, stories, tools, and then subtopics and affirmations. Those are all different seeds of an idea that match up to different types of content formats. So for example, you know, stories are really great for a short form video content. Like I did this thing and here's the results and I'm gonna tell you about it in this this video format. Also good opinions or observations are really good for that. Outcomes are things that we sat down and identified our target audience, solopreneur creators. What are the things that they really want? What are the outcomes they want in their business? They want the flexibility to decide what to work on. They wanna wake up every day excited about their work. Like these are all those. And so I know that anytime I'm out of ideas, I can go here and go, what does my ideal audience want to achieve? And then I can come up with the idea that can help them get that outcome. If they want to know what their audience wants from them, Great, that gives me the idea of, let me do an idea about how to survey your audience and, and mine them for what they're looking for in their content ideas, right? I've been doing this at the end of each day and it's really helpful. I also created this button here that basically matches each input type to the type of content. For example, if the if it's a subtopic, which just means like a topic that we talk about in our business, it's perfect for a carousel or an article. If it's a story, like I mentioned, it's good for video, carousel, et cetera. And so all I have to do, let me just go to the all ideas. And so you'll see I've already assigned formats to a lot of these, but when I, actually, let me show you this. Let me click all of these and then let me pretend that this was empty. So imagine that these are just ideas that I have like entered into my idea bank. All I have to do is click this button, update all formats, and it basically takes the input type. So if it was a story and it assigns the format. And what's really cool about that is now if I go to this view that's by format, I have all these carousel ideas. I have all these long video ideas. I have all these newsletter ideas. And it's all based on just like a seed of a thought that I had. If it was an opinion, all I had to do is enter it here. And before I know it, now I know that idea has been dispersed across all these different formats. And those are the ideas that are being surfaced here in each section. So when I go, I don't know what we want to do a, a YouTube video about for Wayne. I have all of my long video ideas here. And I know I kind of quickly rushed through that part. So if you want an entire video about how we come up with content ideas, I would love to make that for you. Let me know in the comments below. All right, that is it for now. I hope you found that walkthrough helpful. I hope it gave you ideas about some things that you can implement in your own notion system for how to keep track of your content calendar. Thanks for watching. And again, if you want more behind the scenes videos of how we manage our solopreneur creator business, definitely hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.